How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And if you're wondering why Amazon Prime Video isn't working for you or you find that a lot of titles are simply not available, well, it's because you're not using a VPN and you're not in the correct region. Now, most of the shows are available in the United States. And if you're seeing uh, this notification right here, it says some titles might not be available in your location. Uh, and a title, an example of such title would be Vinland Saga, for example. This title is not available for your location. What you're looking for is something more like this, where, you know, you can actually view this title. And this notification that says traveling is no longer there and I have full access to everything I need to watch or I would like to uh, view. And I'm able to view all of that because I'm connected to the US server with ExpressVPN. And I just uh, showed you guys, I just wanted to show you guys this page that was before connecting to ExpressVPN. And after connecting to ExpressVPN, this title became available. I just chose to not refresh this page to show you guys. And if I go ahead and just refresh this page, check this out, it will become available. This will change. And if I go down to Vinland Saga, it's now available. It's all about using a good VPN that can actually bypass the geo restrictions because, you know, services like Netflix, Hulu and Amazon Prime Video do detect that you're using a VPN. If you're using an unreliable VPN or a free VPN, you're most likely not going to be able to bypass these geo restrictions and the streaming services will detect they're using a VPN and block you. So you need a VPN that has good enough servers that are maintained and made specifically to bypass these streaming services that you're trying to reach. And I've tried a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three VPNs, Express, Northern, and Surfshark being the best overall uh, with regards to just general privacy, uh, streaming and security features. OK, so starting with ExpressVPN, let's go ahead and just get into these. You know, you want to choose a good VPN and you could go with ExpressVPN if you want the simplest, most effective kind of premium VPN that's as easy and compatible with nearly every smart device you can think of. All these VPNs are compatible with most devices, but ExpressVPN is exceptionally easy to use, especially if you want to use your VPN on your streaming stick or Fire TV or your smart TV. I personally prefer ExpressVPN uh, simply because it's just very easy to use. And that's what I want. All I want my VPN to do is unblock my uh, stream service and I don't have to worry about anything else. I don't really look for any special security features or servers. You know, ExpressVPN makes it very easy for me. That being said, NordVPN and Surfshark are perfectly great choices as well, which is why I included them in this list. Now, ExpressVPN has over 3,000 servers in 94 countries and plenty of US servers for you to choose from. Uh, so yeah, if you're looking to unblock, obviously, Amazon, Hulu, and Netflix US, this is what you're going to need. You're going to need a uh, just at least a few locations, you know, a couple of East Coast locations, a couple of West Coast locations, and a few in Middle America. And uh, all of them work with uh, whatever streaming service, whatever US based streaming service you choose. And if one location doesn't work, just switch to the next and nine times out of 10, you're good to go. You'll be able to secure up to five devices per subscription. And you have basic features if you're looking for features such as the kill switch and split tiling, which is all I need really for me personally, the kill switch and split tunneling, spe specifically split tunneling. I really like this feature. And both of these features are also available in NordVPN and Surfshark, by the way. The kill switch will stop your internet connection if the VPN disconnects unexpectedly, uh, preventing any leaks from leaking out of your device. And split tunneling will allow you to choose which applications are routed through the VPN and which are not. So let's say I'm using my uh, Google Chrome browser to um, reach Amazon Prime, and I don't want anything else to be affected by my VPN besides Google Chrome. Uh, you can do that. You know, let's say you're torrenting something and you don't want to route any other uh, connection or application. Uh, you can also just include that, and that'll be the only two applications you 
using the VPN and you can do it the other way around. So it's a very useful feature. You also have a handful of protocols, just stick to automatic if you'd like. I, I like to use UDP because it's the fastest one. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, with regards to NordVPN, you'll be able to secure up to six devices per subscription. So that's one more device than ExpressVPN. And you have over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. So you've got over 2,000 more servers than ExpressVPN, but 34 less countries. So make sure the countries you're looking for in NordVPN are available before you go ahead and get it. And you have specialty servers. I'm not gonna get too in depth into these um, features. So yeah, make sure to uh, view the review below if you're interested in learn, learning more. But overall, you have basic features such as the ad blocker, the powerful Nordlinks protocol, making it the fastest VPN in the industry today, conventional kill switch as well as an app kill switch, which are close selected apps when you disconnect from the VPN or the connection drops unexpectedly rather than disconnecting your entire internet as it is with the conventional kill switch. You have split tunneling, just like ExpressVPN, and in advance you have custom DNS, which is simply an easy way to change your DNS. It's a very hassle-free way to easily change your DNS and obfuscated servers if you're in a censorship heavy country. Uh, you don't really need them, but they're there as an option. Whereas with ExpressVPN, it works no matter which server you use. Even if you're in a censorship heavy country, ExpressVPN is made to bypass censorship firewalls very easily. It's a plug and play VPN really. Now, if you want a VPN that secures an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription, this is where Surfshark comes in. You still get specialty servers and you get the basic security features such as the ad blocker, kill switch, the WireGuard protocol, which you definitely want to stick to, but you have a few more options here uh, because it's the fastest one. Bypasser, which is essentially split tunneling and rotating IP in no borders mode if you're in a censorship heavy country. And you have over 3,200 servers in 60 65 countries, including plenty of United States locations. And again, uh, this will allow you to secure an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription. So you can share your subscription with as many friends and family members as you'd like, making it a great budget VPN that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost. So if that's your priority, go with Surfshark. If you want more features, uh, and faster, the fastest connection ever, you can go with NordVPN. And if you're looking for just a good premium service that's very consistent and very privacy and anonymity based, go with ExpressVPN. So that's pretty much it for this video. Keep in mind that all these VPNs do have a 30 day money back guarantee, no matter which VPN you uh, or plan you decide to go for. So it's a very risk free process. You can try them out for 30 days and get your refund. Um, you can ask the live chat support, which is available 24 seven for each of the VPNs. Go to the websites at the bottom right, you'll find the live chat support at your service and you'll be able to ask them for the refund or any other question you might be having about these VPNs. Again, links to pricing and discounts in the description down below as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. Uh, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.